Hi, my name is Pete Smith, and I'm a forester and an arborist for the Arbor Day Foundation. Today we're going to answer one of the common questions that we get at the Arbor Day Foundation. What can I do to avoid damaging my tree's roots? So we're going to look at how roots stabilize our trees, how they help our trees grow, and what area they need to grow and thrive. Trees have roots that grow mostly in the top two feet of soil area. Most trees do not have any sort of a tap root, and they are really growing underneath the crown of the tree to a depth of about two feet, and in our largest trees, maybe as deep as about three feet deep. The vast majority of tree roots grow inside what we call the drip line of the tree. And that's the area at the edge of the tree's crown where rainwater would drip off the end of the outermost leaves. So I'm standing underneath the drip line of this tree, and this area right underneath where the drip line is is where the majority of roots are for this tree. What we can see here is a wonderful root flare on this very large oak tree. And this is a very important zone of tree roots that we always want to be able to identify and notice on our large landscape trees. So here we have an example of a tree that's been planted a few years ago, and it's starting to develop that root flare that we talked about on our larger trees. And this is very important to keep the mulch backed away from that area so that we can always see how those roots are growing and keeping the tree upright. So rooting depth on our trees will depend a little bit on the kind of tree you have, but in general, trees only have roots to about a depth of two feet into the soil. The vast majority, 95%, of the roots of any tree are going to be found in that top two feet of our soil. Most trees do not have any sort of a tap root. They are extending as far and wide as they can as long as there is water and oxygen and nutrients. So here we have an example of a large tree that's developed some surface roots that have gone out into the lawn area. The best way to avoid damage from mowers and string trimmers is to really lightly mulch in between the root zone and maybe plant some other flowering plants or shrubs. So when we're looking at placement of trees in our landscape, we want to take a look at the kind of tree that we're going to plant, and then what are the distances from structures and other hardscape that we might have in our landscape, like driveways or even street curbs, sidewalks, etc. So a general rule of thumb for our large and medium landscape trees is to plant them at least 10 feet away from any structure. When we're looking at our sidewalks and our curbs, we want to make sure that they're no closer than two feet away, but preferably a, a wider distance where you have the space. So here we've got an example of a tree that's been planted the proper distance from the sidewalk. We've got at least 10 feet of space to allow this large tree to reach its full mature size. If you do need to do any construction activity inside the drip line, it's really important to hire a certified arborist to delineate to your contractors where they can work and what areas need to be fenced off from their activities. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any tree care questions, let us know.